What is up, guys? Today, we are going to be opening the last two uh, Target mystery tins that I have. I've had so much fun opening these, especially after the first couple that I opened. I just had to go back and get the last couple. Um, so this will be the final final two tins that I have um, for the third video here, um, just to test and see what the variety of some of these mystery tins are. Um, so far, we've opened three of the Trevor Lawrence and one of these Christian McCaffrey's. Just like the last Christian McCaffrey, it sounds like there's a graded card. It says you get hits, hobby packs, graded cards, and more, along with your five packs. Um, I'm really hoping out of the Trevor Lawrence we do not get any more of those NFL fives, because those just are not good packs. But if we can get the absolute packs with the mosaic packs, you know, I think we'll be looking pretty good. So, once again, I've had a lot of fun opening these guys. Um, if you guys have checked out Target and you've seen them yourselves, I, I really think they're worth a shot just to just to see what you can get. Especially especially if you can get one that, that shakes, because last one was a Beckett graded card. 9.5, not BCCG, none of that crap, an actual Beckett graded card. Now, granted, it was an awful player. So many better players that they could have done for 2007. Um, but let's just get right into this here. We're going to start with the Trevor Lawrence. Um, if it is like any of the other Trevor Lawrence's that we've opened so far from Target, this will probably have a Sage pack. Yep. And it looks like we got those NFL 5 packs, so crap. But that's all right. We did luck out the one time with those Absolute packs. We're just going to open these up real fast. Not much value in these NFL 5 packs at all. But... You know, at the off chance that you can maybe get a foil card of a decent player, you know, maybe it's worth something. Nothing in that first one there. I think out of all the NFL 5 packs I've gotten from these, only the very first one had a foil Chiefs card in it. Tyreek. There we go. Another safety. Jordan Poyer. So, probably nothing there. Oh, well. Sage, they've been kind of interesting. You know, you get a couple autographs in each one of these packs. This is the bonus item for that Trevor Lawrence. Um, once again, I suppose you can get a decent... Oh! Is that Sauce? That's Sauce Gardner. No way! I'm pretty... I'm 99%... Oh, and CJ Stroud. Okay, maybe I've just eaten my words on this. Drew Estrada. Estrada. I feel like I've heard of him. Houston Texans. Guys, I think we just got a Sauce Gardner. Yeah, NFL Draft, fourth overall pick. We just got a Sauce Ahmad Gardner. Wow, that's awesome. Not bad at all. Well, let's get into this uh, Rookies and Stars here. Already getting that Sauce, so I am... I'm pumped after that one. That was great. We got TJ Hawkinson, Lamar Jackson... Baker Mayfield, CD Lamb. Get there. Larry Rogers, Aaron Jones, a couple Packers, Joe Montana, Tony Gonzalez, Tom Brady, Davis Mills. Oh, Gray. Oh, nothing too crazy there. Nice Justin Fields rookie. Set that aside. Nothing else too crazy. Nice Mahomes there to end it off. So, nothing too crazy in that one. Get field to sleeve there. Now we got two of the mosaics left, both from Mega Boxes allegedly. So let's see what we get from those. Josh Allen, nice Ayuk, Otis Anderson, yellow, and a Joe Burrow. Last mosaic here. We did get a mosaic autograph in that last couple tins there. Jamie Collins. There we go. Nice uh, Travis Kelsey yellow. And Robbie Anderson. We'll see how the Chiefs do tomorrow. Um, 
I mean, by the time you guys see this, it'll probably be a couple days after, so they will either be in or the Bills will have won. All right, on to McCaffrey. This is going to be exciting. We got another slab. I'll have to see if I can, like, slow reveal this. Okay, so what do we got? That's the bottom. That's the back. It looks like a dolphin. Okay, so it is a Beckett slab again. So let's see how can we do this here. Let's see what kind of... Looks like we got some select and prism packs. So look at that in just a second. Flip it around here. Okay, it's a 9.5 John Beck. Okay. So, once again... I'm wondering if they're doing all of the 2007 score rookies, maybe. So obviously, John Beck, I, ca I can't remember who I got before. It, it, nobody, nobody real good. Um, you know, maybe if you get a Peterson, if you get a Calvin Johnson, that'd be really good. But I mean, gosh, I'd rather, I'd even take Jamarcus Russell, you know. Um, but I love the fact that they are Beckett, actual Beckett graded cards. It even has, you got centering 10, corners 9.5, surface 9, so that, it's still neat regardless. Unfortunately, nobody really of any special value. So what year is this? Well, 2021, duh. All right, so we got two 21 Chronicles. The last time we got 2020s, which were nice. Um, then we got a Select and Prism. We'll see if we can get anything else good in Prism. Uh, last time we opened uh, the Prism ones that came into McCaffrey. So both times with McCaffrey, we've gotten Prism packs. Um, and last time we opened the Prism packs, we got Lucky and we got a checkerboard Nico Collins. I was unfamiliar with the, the checkerboard variation, just knowing if that was really anything special. But it looked like that was a good solid $50 card. Um, unfortunately, if they had done done really well today and, and won, you know, maybe we'd be looking at a little bit better of a price but let's get right into these 2021 20, chronicles see what fun we can have kellen mod etn Devontae williams rondale moore that one looks kind of cool and Devonta smith Devonte smith chronicles always look neat you never really know what you know Nothing too special usually from them. Nice Justin Fields, Zach Wilson, Elijah Moore, Seth Williams. All right, so we'll do the select next here. Nice Garrett Wilson rookie, Philip Rivers, Stingy Jr., nice Kyle Hamilton, Select Prism, Dante Adams, Cooper Cup. So nothing too special out of that one. Are we going to get anything crazy out of the Prisms? Let's see what we get here. Now, somebody had said that these are... Hanger pack or gravity gravity pack ones. I'm not really sure. There's so many different variations that matter for each one. It's just hard to keep up with. Deontay Johnson, Cameron Jordan, Ed Oliver, the nice Devontae Smith rookie break card. All right, last pack. Can we get a little bit of last pack magic here? Deontay Johnson, C.J. Mosley, nothing special in that one. So, it looks like the highlight of these couple tins is the fact that the uh, Sage Packs actually had a nice, decent uh, first round, pretty big uh, quarterback, or cornerback, not quarterback, cornerback, so... Let me know what you guys thought of these. You know, it's been kind of fun opening about three or doing three openings of these, opening a total of six tins. Um, we got two graded cards, 
four of the bonuses were just the sage packs i would have been curious to see what kind of you know potential autographs or game use would have been coming in since they said hits um potentially as bonuses um so maybe if we end up getting a few more at our target i'll check them out and see what else we can get from them i really have a lot of fun with these i know you know a lot of people are gonna just hate on most of the packs um obviously nfl5 complete garbage but I, I don't know there is a certain thrill to mystery tins mystery boxes mystery packs um you know even just just the thrill of the hunt where you know you probably have a chance at a calvin johnson 2007 score rookie obviously there's better variations of 2007 rookies you know scores nothing high end by any means but like i don't know there's there's cool potential with these <laughs> once again wasted wasted uh grading but maybe back maybe these were graded back in 2007 who even knows um but yeah i i absolutely love opening these so uh, make sure you guys like and subscribe let me know what you thought of all of these uh from all the different videos here for these mystery tins um and just stay tuned i'm gonna keep looking for more fun mystery boxes you know if you see them at walmart target walgreens i'm gonna be keeping an eye out for them because i just like to pick them up see what kind of potential is inside of them you know i know most times it's a it's a loss loss situation but at least then you guys get to know if they're worth buying but anyways with that i hope you guys had a great day a goodbye